On August 14, 1947, a new nation was born. Pakistan, created by separating the Muslim regions of India from the Hindu. History is made of people rejoice. Independence for India and Pakistan. When the British begin their departure, an era ends and a new era begins. As the new dominions of Pakistan and India take over their own affairs, millions began a journey that over the months was to become the greatest mass migration in history. The country was born in confusion. People who thought they were in Pakistan suddenly realized that they actually were in India. The rapes and brutal mass murders during partition affected both India and Pakistan. Anywhere from 200,000 to a million dead. Many will never reach their new land. More than 60 languages are spoken. The national language became Urdu. But English is the official language used in business, government, and legal contracts. It is the Muslim faith which holds the nation together. Tension between Hindus and Muslims of India always ran high. When India and Pakistan won their independence, the partition led almost immediately to disputes. Pakistan's very existence depended largely on adequate military strength should the dispute with India assume uncontrollable proportions. The borderland Kashmir has been a disputed territory ever since. The UN succeeds in obtaining a ceasefire. Pakistan has never managed to get control of all of Kashmir. You're making it very clear to both uh, Pakistan and India that war will not serve their interests. More than half of Pakistan's 63-year history has been spent under military rule. A shortage of jobs, of justice, of good schools, electricity and running water are the state's everyday failures. Pakistan has achieved a literacy rate of only 67% for men, only 42% for women. Government spending on education is just a small fraction of government spending on the military. Money was pumped into weapons and into Pakistan's religious seminaries or madrasas. For years, theirs has been a radical, ultra-conservative message. Those same madrasas would go on to produce the extreme Islamist Taliban movement. Honor killings and traditional cultural practice are widespread and legal. Murder has been condoned by the state in the case of these barbaric killings. The school was closed. 19 people time. were killed in the explosion. Three More than 50 work. wounded. The Among the dead, at least four police officers, often in the front line. The militants' campaign is ferocious and widespread. After 9 11, things changed dramatically. Pakistan, a country with an extensive nuclear arsenal, is facing a very serious security challenge. In 1953, Six years after the birth of Pakistan, Benazir Bhutto was born. I was born on June 21st, 